Hey guys, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com and today I'm going to create my own WordPress theme using Artisteer. So if you don't know, Artisteer is basically a design tool that you can use for WordPress, Blogger, Static Pages, Joomla, and what have you. Um, and I've never actually used Artisteer to build a WordPress theme. I've only used it for static pages. So today you're going to see me using it for the first time. So I've, I've never done this before. So if it fails, you're going to see it fail basically in real time. If it works, great. So I want you guys to, to see the real deal with this video. So we're going to start off by having Artisteer suggest some ideas for me. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because I've done a video on how Artisteer works before. So you can watch that video. I'll link it on the screen so you can go to it if you want. All right, so we're going to work with this theme here. I'm not too crazy about it, but you know, this is just for the sake of this video. So let's make a few changes. I won't spend too much time on this part. Um, I'm not happy with the width. So let's change the width of the theme. Let's make it 900 pixels. Let's go up to the header and we're going to throw a person in the header. So we're going to come up here, scroll up. Let's throw these people in there. And I'm not too crazy about this menu. So let's go up to menu and change the way it looks. Yeah. The coloring is kind of off, but I'm not going to waste too much time. Okay, so let's pretend this is exactly what I want. Got a two column theme here, got the header with these people. I'm ready to upload this to WordPress and start using this theme. So what you're going to do is you're going to come back over to the idea area and click WordPress theme. So I'm going to name this um, couple. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. That's going to be the name of the theme. So it's going to be exported to my desktop and I'm going to extract it as a zip file. So we're going to say export. And right now it's going to create a zip folder on my desktop that says couple. And I can now upload this theme to WordPress. So let's head on over to my WordPress admin panel. I'm using instant WP, which is my testing platform on my windows computer. So we're going to go up to appearance and we're going to go to themes. Oh, I'm already there. Hello, Lisa. So we're going to go to install themes and then upload, browse, desktop. And I should see a zip folder here called couple.zip. There it is. So we're going to say install now. Let's just preview it to see if it looks anything like, okay, not too bad. I've got some wrapping here just because I have too many um, pages, which is not an issue. I can just delete some of the pages, but so far everything looks pretty good. So we're going to close this and we're going to say activate. Now let's look at it live. And it still looks, looks pretty good. Now let me go in because I've got too many pages here. That's why this is wrapping. Let's go back to my dashboard and I'm going to just for the heck of it, get rid of this page and let's get rid of another page just, just to make sure it looks okay. So we're going to go back here. And as you can see now it's not wrapping and my drop down menus are working and everything. So let's look at the widgets. Let's see what the widgets look like for this. Theme. We're going to go to appearance and then widgets. So we've got a primary widget, which is the default sidebar. So right now there's nothing in my sidebar, but the elements that I created in Artisteer. So let's see if I drag my recent posts widget over there, if it will show up. All right. So we're going to grab this, drop it here, recent posts. We're going to show 10 of them and we're going to say save. Now let's see if these show up in our right column. Let's go back and sure enough, there are our recent posts. Now here's the problem. We've got two recent posts. My guess, this is probably from the widgets. So I'll probably have to go through and clear out my widgets. This is where it kind of gets tricky when you're doing these themes with Artisteer 
because it adds these widgets and then you have to make sure there's nothing that's interfering, aha. So second top widget area. So it added another widget, which is good that Artisteer is creating all of these extra widgets so you can customize various elements of your blog, pretty cool. So now, yes, it's gone. So if you wanted to put some AdSense code, say right here, what you would do is go back to your widgets and let's go back to, I don't remember where it was. I think it was a first top widget area or a second top widget area. I don't remember which one it was now, but you could just drag your text widget over here, paste your AdSense code here, blah, 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 and your AdSense ads will show up in that location. So I'm pretty impressed that this particular theme has a lot of widgets to help you customize this, this blog. Very, very cool. All right, so now what I wanna do, I wanna test to see if these footer widgets really work as well as they're supposed to. As you can see, I have four footer widgets. So technically I should be able to, to do a four column footer. So let's see how this works. We're just gonna drag the same widget in all four of them. Okay, so I've dragged the recent post widget to all four footer widget area. So let's see what this is going to look, look like. It should be pretty interesting considering four footer widgets is kind of a lot, but let's just see if it works. It does. Now, it's not very pretty. Um, I would probably just do three widgets because this is kind of crowded, um, but clearly there's some spacing that needs to be taken care of here. And this is where, when it comes to WordPress, you got to understand CSS. Because what I would have to do now is go into the style sheet and figure out how to space these, wid these uh, links out, which if you're sort of familiar with CSS, no big deal, but if you're not, it could be a pain in the you know what. So, but it works, that's, hey, it's, it's working as designed. So, so far everything seems to be working pretty good. Let's just go to the style sheet just to see what it looks like. Let's go to appearance, editor, one thing I do not like about Artisteer is that it creates a ton of code. Look how long this style sheet is. And the reason they do create a lot of code is because as you saw before I exported this theme, there are a ton of options. So it has to create all this code to support all the different design options that you have when you're building your theme. So, that's great, but when it comes to trying to edit individual sections of your theme, if you're a beginner and maybe you don't understand how to use Firebug or something like that, it could be a complete nightmare. So my advice, if you're going to use Artisteer to build your WordPress theme, make sure it looks exactly how you want it to look before you export it. Otherwise, you're going to be doing what I'm gonna have to do, which I'm not gonna have to do because this is just a test, but if I was really going to use this theme, I'd have to come in here and fix the spacing on those links for that footer widget because that didn't look good at all. So the advantage of using Artisteer is that it's quick, you can get design inspiration, it's wonderful for that. But when it comes to customizing the areas, you're gonna have to really dig through this code after you export it. The other disadvantage of using Artisteer with WordPress is let's say WordPress upgrades to 4.0 and your theme breaks, then you have to wait for Artisteer to come out with a fix. Whereas when you use a premium theme like Thesis, Genesis, Woo themes, you'll get more support because typically these companies will release updates very quickly that coincide with any WordPress updates. So that's the risk with using these builders. You know, if your theme breaks, then what are you going to do? You got to wait for Artisteer to come out with an update to fix it. So there's good and bad with this. I will probably continue to use Artisteer for static landing pages, which I've done for some of my product pages when I sell, you know, like my eBooks and stuff like that. But in terms of using it for WordPress, I think I'm going to stick to the premium themes. But I have to say it does seem to work pretty well. I've had a lot of people tell me they don't like Artisteer for WordPress themes, but um, so far, it seems to be working as designed. The key thing to remember is after you install your theme, make sure you go to your widgets area and wipe out all of your widgets because some of the stuff that may be populated and if it looks crazy, it's probably because you have some widgets that were already preloaded. So 
that's it. Now you can see how to use Artist Steer to build your own WordPress theme. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.